Hey guys, this is Jay Mills from iPhoneBlogger.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade your iPhone from 4.3.5 or 4.2.10 to 4.3.3 or 4.2.8. Those are the um, latest firmwares that have an untethered jailbreak available. Uh, the first thing i got to stress is that you absolutely need your SHSH blobs in order to downgrade. If you don't have them, and you don't have a way to obtain them, then you're not going to be able to downgrade. That's just the way it is. There's no way around it at this time. So if you have them, continue on with this tutorial. If you don't have them, then you might as well stop it right here. If you're not sure whether you have them or not, I've posted a link in the description that will tell you how you can check to see if you have them. Um, if your phone's been previously jailbroken, chances are that Cydia automatically saved the SHSH for you as long as you opened Cydia while it was being signed. So um, you might as well check it if you've been jailbroken in the past because the chances are likely that you'll have it. But now that we got that out of the way, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do 4.2.8 uh, firmware because I have the Verizon iPhone. So right now I've upgraded my iPhone to 4.2.10 just so I can show you guys how to do this. But um, basically you're going to need these two files, Snowbreeze 2.7.3 and the 4.2.8 firmware file. Um, download links for all this stuff can be found in the video description at the bottom. Um, basically you want to open Snowbreeze and come up to this screen that just tells you that it's not for commercial use. Just hit OK and then close credits and then it's going to tell you that this version 2.7.3 is specifically for 4.2.8 or 4.3.3 which is what we're downgrading to. So we're going to make a custom 4.2.8 firmware right now. So I'll hit the blue arrow and um, now you'll be on this screen where you can either drag and drop your firmware file or you can browse for it. So I'll just drag and drop it. So this is my 4.2.8 firmware. Um, it's not going to let me drag and drop it. But anyways, I'm going to select my 4.2.8 firmware. If you have 4.3.3, this is where you're going to want to select it. So you select it. It'll say identifying. Alright, so now my firmware has been verified, 4.2.8 for the Verizon iPhone. So I'm going to hit the blue arrow next again. And for this tutorial I'm going to use simple mode. Um, for Verizon users you can just use simple mode. Um, there's not really much customization you can do to a 4.2.8 firmware. But 4.3.3 um, users, if you are preserving your ba baseband, um, you're going to want to use expert mode. So if you have um, a phone that needs to be activated, let's say, you would hit activate the iPhone, activate right here. Um, it's sh shaded out for me because you can't activate 4.2.8 uh, firmware because uh, CDMA iPhones are not unlockable, but that's where you'd want to hit that if you need to activate because you have an unofficial carrier. But uh, like I said, can't do that with um, the 4.2.8 firmware, so I'm just going to go straight to build IPSW. And now it's going to build the custom firmware for us. Um, at this point, you can either sit and watch it. You can walk away and make some food or something, or you can play Pac-Man. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to speed this process up. So I'll be back when it's done. All right, so now Snowbreeze is done. Uh, just hit OK. Um, now you'll notice that the Snowbreeze has created a new firmware on your desktop that starts with Snowbreeze. That's going to be your custom firmware, so this is the one that we're going to want to restore. Um, so on the next screen, I'm going to show you how you can restore this firmware using your SHSH blobs. For now, you're going to want to just minimize Snowbreeze. Um, we're going to use this DFU pwner in a second, and I'll go over that. But uh, for now, just minimize it, don't close it. And uh, at this point, we're going to open up Tiny Umbrella. The most current version is 5.0.0.09. I'll post a link on where you can get the most current version in the description. Um, basically, right now I've got my Verizon iPhone connected, and you can see that I've got my 4.2.8 SHSH saved, which you need, you absolutely need this to downgrade. Um, so uh, since I've got my 4.2.8, I'll go up here and click Start TSS Server. And this is basically, the TSS server is what tricks iTunes into thinking that the firmware is still being signed because it reroutes the um, verification servers to use your local SHSH files instead of checking with the Apple servers. So 
Um, some people get confused by this loading wheel. I think that that means it's still opening, but actually that's it'll start as soon as you hit the button. The loading wheel just means that it's running. So you'll see it says TSS server is running right here. I'll just show you on my phone real quick. I've just got stock um, 4.2.10 as you can see. I just restored it to 4.2.10 so there's nothing on here yet. It's just clean stock factory firmware. So um, at this point you're going to want to open up Snowbreeze again and this is the DFU Poner part. Um, in order to restore custom firmware that you make with Snowbreeze or Ponage tool you need to put your phone into Pwn DFU mode. Um, some people get confused here because they think that Pwn DFU mode is the same thing as D regular DFU mode which it's not. It's completely different. So you need to put your phone into Pwn DFU mode. Uh, right here it says that you need to turn off your device first. Um, you don't actually need to turn off your device. This will work with your device turned on. Um, if it makes you feel more comfortable you can turn it off but I'm just going to leave mine on for now. So go hit start. It's going to tell you to prepare to hit um, home and power at the same time. So when it counts down you want to hold those two buttons down for 10 seconds. Just watch um, right on the screen while it counts down. And once it gets to zero, you're going to want to release just the power button. Like that. And continue do holding down the home button for another 10 seconds. Um, and Snowbreeze will detect your phone in DFU mode. And then it will put it into Pwn DFU mode. So right now it's running iReb. And as you can see it says your device is now in Pwn DFU state. So the screen is black just like if it was regular DFU mode except this is Pwn DFU mode. It's very important that you use Pwn DFU mode because you need to be in this mode in order to restore custom firmware. So now that we're in Pwn DFU mode and we've got Tiny Umbrella TSS server running, we can go ahead and open up iTunes now. You'll notice that iTunes now says that iTunes has detected a f uh, iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore the phone. That's good. That's a good sign. You want to hit OK there. And then you'll see right here, you just want to hold down the shift key and then mouse click on the restore button and you'll get a dialog box that lets you select what firmware file you want. Make sure you uh, select the one that starts with Snowbreeze, that's the custom firmware. You don't want to restore this one because this is just the factory firmware and this one's already pre jailbroken and everything. So select the 4.2.8 Snowbreeze firmware and it'll say, are you sure you want to restore? Just hit restore again. Um, you'll get the typical extracting software at the top of iTunes and um, basically what you're looking for here is after the firmware is done extracting it's going to put your phone or it's going to ready your phone for the restore and when it f the screen first comes back on instead of seeing an apple logo you're going to see a snowflake logo so if you see that snowflake logo you know that you're on the right track because the snowflake logo is the logo that you see when you're restoring a snowbreeze custom firmware so here's the snowflake i was talking about once you get to this screen, you know that you're good because as soon as you see the snowflake, that means that the verification process went okay and you're restoring the custom firmware. So a snowflake is a good sign. So again, this is going to take a few minutes, so I'm just going to let I'm just going to fast forward through it so it's shorter for you. All right, that's all there is to it. So now, if I open up my phone here, oh, it's still in the emergency. Oh, there it goes. If I open up my phone here. You'll see um, if I go into settings, general, about, uh, you'll see that see that my phone's now on 4.2.8, so we successfully downgraded. And not only that, but you'll see that City is right here on my springboard. It's included in the custom firmware that we created, so I'm already jailbroken and ready to go. So that's all there is to it. That's how you downgrade from 4.2.10 to 4.2.8.